hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to link your WPF C sharp application with SQLite database in the pre previous video tutorials which I made for Windows form application in C sharp I used MySQL database and in this uh, video series of WPF C sharp I want to use SQLite database so you will be having the idea of both databases so why we are going to use SQLite we are going to use SQLite because it's a serverless database so whatever application you are going to make with the help of SQLite database it will be a standalone application so it doesn't need any server for its uh, uh, its functioning that's the biggest advantage of using SQLite database so you can transfer your application from one computer to another without worrying or without worrying for deployment of the server and all so that's about SQLite if you want to learn more about SQLite I have made a video tutorials some weeks ago uh, which is called beginners SQLite tutorial and you can go to my channel programming knowledge and in the playlist you will find this beginners SQLite tutorial so you will be having some idea how this SQLite work and how the queries are passed now when you want to deploy SQLite on this WPF application the visual studio doesn't have any uh, tool for directly connecting this WPF with your SQLite so we need to download some third party DLLs which will uh, help us to connect it with our application so it will be as open source um, uh, DLL files and it will be free for to download so you don't have to worry about uh, the cost and all so we are going to download this for free so go to your um, search Google search and write there this Finisa Esquilite F I N I S A R and then Esquilite and first link here will open will be a ado dot net sklite dot sourceforge dot net you need to open this website and here is uh, the website which provide open source dll files for connecting dot net application with sklite so just go to your download here in here and just click this first link latest version and first we are going to download this first zip file and it leads us to this source forge and it downloads this, this zip file now I'm going to open this zip file and in here there will be three DLL files right one two and three so what I'm going to do is I will go to my application WPF application then I will go here solution explorer I will click the solution right click it and I will click this open folder in Windows Explorer so it will open my project folder where my project is there so go inside uh, this project and then go inside this bin folder and there will be a debug folder here so in the inside this debug folder your s uh, your exe file for your project will be there so when you click this your application opens like this so just open this folder and now just open this zip file and just select all these three SQLite DLL files and drag and drop here 
so in your project folder go to bin and then debug and wherever your exe file is there you need to copy and paste these three dll files there okay now that's done i will close it now what you need to do is you right click your wpf app or your project name and you will click add resources so click add resources and it will open this dialog box go to browse here browse and we will search for our dll file so go to your project and bin and debug folder we have all these three dlls what dll we need is this sklite dot net dot dll so select this sklite dot net dot dll and click ok and when you see here in the resources folder of your project the sklite dot net dll is added here okay now we need to check whether this uh, sklite file or sklite dll work or not so what i will do is i will use this button to check whether my uh, sklite connection works or not so i will double click it and what i will do is i will go to this website once again which is finisher.sklite ado.net.sklite.sourceforge from where i have downloaded these uh, sklite or uh, dll files for sklite go here and click this document and examples and then go here in the code example below here and it will open an example so they have provided an example how to work with sklite using c sharp code so just copy this code we are going to use this code in our application just to check and then i will uh, show you how to use it correctly so first just copy this using finisher dot sklite this first line and go to your project code section and here where all the using namespaces are there just add e this finish using finisher dot sklite here okay now once this is done now once again we will go to our form section or main window section J so i will just double click it once again and i have written this message dot, dot show code earlier which i am going to comment and in here i will i will copy the code which this site has provided which is this finisher dot sklite example site so i will just copy this all code below this using finisher dot sklite all the code from here to the bottom and just go here in your button click event and i will paste it here so it will work without any error if you have provided this using namespaces now i need to change something in this code because it's giving me output in this console and i want the output in the message box so i will change a little bit this uh, code so in your code just go wherever your while loop is there in that code there is a while loop where you have this uh, while loop argument sklite underscore data reader dot read and in here they have provided this code so instead of this code i will comment this code here 
and I will declare a string variable.